My friends, it just keeps happening. Or does it? No, it definitely keeps happening this time around. Indeed, one of GoldenEye's most iconic, oldest world records has been completely shattered by the God Gamer to end all God Gamers, Kali W. But how did he do it? What motivated this insane accomplishment? What does this mean for the game of GoldenEye? Well, that's why you're here. So pour yourself a nice cup of tea and settle on in for the story of Kali W's Surface One Agent. 101. Surface One Agent 102 was a world record set by True Faith in February 2008. A record that required about a minute of good strafing, some technically tight movement in the satellite building to deactivate a console, Objective A, followed by a precise ladder warp and very clutch destruction of a set of four locks to enter the bunker and finish the stage. The level is considered one of the least luck dependent in the entire game, since there are really no guards to encounter, nor any boosts to receive, and hence one could argue it's the most entirely skill-based stage. The locks at the end are indeed the critical point of the stage, requiring two shots to break off each, and your KF7 fires in bursts of three shots. So logically, an absolutely perfect run would shoot one lock off per burst, or 12 shots total. But this might be simply too perfect, and something really only capable of happening in a tool-assisted speedrun. Most speedrunners who get 102 do so while firing 18 shots, which does the trick just nicely. And that's just what would happen over the following 10 or 12 years. Through the start of the year 2021, 54 people would have tied Surface 1 Agent 102, making it the most common record in the game. Mind you, this was after records like Dam 53 and Runway 22 had been broken, and those records had well over 100 ties each. So Surface 1 Agent 102 was a common record, though not the most common record in the existence of the game. Even so, the run is much easier said than done, with many skilled players simply unable to score the 102, even after dozens of hours of play. Surface One Agent 102 would go on to become the oldest standing record in the game, being around for well over 4,800 days with no one able to beat it. This is good for 6th on the all-time list of oldest GoldenEye records to ever stand, superseded only by records like the aforementioned Dam 53 and Runway 22. When a record gets heavily multi-tied and begins to become incredibly old, discussion always ramps up as to whether or not lower is possible, and indeed I dedicated an entire video to this matter in Fall 2019. However, despite deep analysis on the stage, and the use of Control Style 2.2 allowing you to begin the level in full speed, thus saving about a third of a second, and the knowledge that crouching as you fall into the ventilation shaft saves another tenth of a second, 102 remained the world record. There was also the possibility of getting a guard boost, which can save another third of a second or so, but this is exceedingly rare and even with specific cutscene watching and looking, and as much guard manipulation as you want to try, there's really not much you can do to increase the chances of getting this rare guard boost. And so, 102 remained the record. Not for a lack of trying though. As gamer, Cali W spent numerous hours going for 101, and had a number of close attempts. Kali W is a gamer who needs no introduction on this channel. We've covered his exploits in Diddy Kong Racing, on other GoldenEye stages, in Super Smash Bros. Melee. He truly is a god gamer by its most raw definition. In this video from the summer 2019 called Almost Untied, Kali gets a very clean run with 17 KF7 shots at the end, duplicating his time of 102. Kali believes this time to be quite low 102, a 101.7 real time in fact, but the in-game timer shows 102. I know there's this whole debate among outsiders on in-game time versus real time, but the way I see it is like, the in-game time is your score, and your goal is to lower that score, whatever that might entail. 
using real time and then pointing to the game and saying, no, the game is wrong, seems fruitless. Plus it brings up a ton of difficulties and issues when figuring out how to calculate real time speedruns, which are captured with countless different methods from speedrunners around the world. So using in-game time as your low score just makes the most sense. But let's get back to Cali. Around the same time, fall, winter, 2019, 2020, Cali would stun the entire GoldenEye speedrun community by achieving two remarkable untied world records. Surface 1 Secret Agent 146 and Surface 1 Double O Agent 147. These are among the very best world records ever set in GoldenEye speedrunning, and 146 Secret Agent particularly, one could make an argument that this is the best record in the entire game. These broke a three-way and eight-way tie respectively, and had the effect of possibly setting up an untied sweep if Cali could go and get Surface 1 Agent 101. An untied sweep, of course, is when you have an untied on all three difficulties of the same stage, something only done by a small handful of speedrunners in GoldenEye history. Obviously, this is immense incentive for anyone to grind out an untied, and that's what Cali would continue to attempt to do over the coming months. But easier said than done. Throughout 2020, Cali would continue playing Goldeneye on and off, getting some decent times and some world records on levels other than Surface 1. Most notably would be the pair of untied Statue 217s, remarkable records in their own right, which I've already dedicated an entire video to over here. However, always nagging at Cali was the desire to give Surface 1 a few more attempts and see if he could notch out that elusive 101. Among Cali's most notable close calls over the past year were 102s that had real time of 101.6, 101.5, and a run that had a real time of 1 minute.7 where he quit out after missing the last lock. This suggested to Cali that, believe it or not, a time of 1 minute may actually be possible, though this is still very much uncertain. And that was more or less the story. Most of the rest of the community was either happy enough to hold on to their 102 world record and had resigned themselves to letting Cali go for that 101, which kind of shows just how daunting the potential record is and the kind of respect afforded to it by other top GoldenEye speedrunners. Cali's last GoldenEye personal records took place in November and December 2020, and then he would put away the cartridge in N64, trading it into D-Rust on those ever so formidable Super Smash Bros. melee skills. However, in June 2021, speedrunner True Faith would randomly decide to pick up his controller and speedrun some GoldenEye again. And of all the levels he could pick, for no reason at all, he settled on Surface 1 Secret Agent. Now, True Faith is a very good speedrunner, of course, one of the all-time greats, and he was pacing some very high-quality speedruns on the stage, easily getting times of 148. On June 8th, he even shared that he had completed a time of 147 on Secret Agent, however, the video recording was corrupted. So he had to go out there and get 147 for a second time, which he did without too much difficulty. Once Cali W got wind that True Faith had been playing Surface 1, he realized that the time to strike was now. It stood logic that if True Faith basically caked Surface 1 Secret Agent 147 twice, that perhaps he could do the same on Double O Agent, which would break any chance of Cali achieving the untied sweep. Ergo, on June 9th, 2021, Cali picked up his controller and tried to get in one last good session of attempts on Surface One Agent. And my friends, this is the speedrun he achieved.
a truly remarkable speed run, beautifully strafed, ammo off-screen option, which is an in-game option that might reduce lag ever so slightly, though this is more of a superstition, really. A very nice loop-de-loop -loop in the console room, which Cali came up with to optimize this area by mere frames, closing the door behind himself, which may help unload the building and further reduce lag, and then a beautiful warp, 15 shot locks, described by some as astral projection locks, in fact, bingo bango, it's Surface One Agent 101, a truly historic speedrun. It took Cowley about 300 hours of attempts over the course of nearly two years, and in that time he duplicated 102 2,154 times. Doing the math, this means that of his 300 hours of play, roughly 36 of those hours consisted entirely of runs that turned into 102s. Again, that was a run so difficult that only 58 players were ever able to get one, and Cali had over 2,000. So yeah, what does that say about 101? And indeed, this would complete the untied sweep on the stage for Cali, an incredibly rare achievement that only a handful of speedrunners have scored in the game. And as these achievements become more and more rare, we can only wonder, might this be the last time anyone ever achieves an untied sweep in Goldeneye? Many were impressed that Cali was able to get the 101 without a guard boost, but this is exactly how Cali dreamt up the run. Perfectly executed, no boost. In fact, it may have been better to visualize the run that way, since otherwise you would just feel so much pressure every time you got the rare boost, it might have prevented Cali from going into that zen-like astral projection mood needed to secure the 101. Callie was obviously ecstatic about the run, and so was everyone who witnessed it. Well, ecstatic, shocked, and stunned. Callie was quick to point out, however, that he viewed the run to be slightly imperfect. As we can see, these two KF7 shots actually missed the lock, hitting the space of air in the middle of the padlock's shank, before Callie micro-adjusted and hit the body of the lock twice. While this may not have saved the fifth burst of KF7, he could still have shot the lock off by shot number 13 and begin falling in the ventilation shaft slightly sooner, perhaps saving another tenth or two. Of course, for all intents and purposes, this doesn't matter. It still would have been 101, and a 101 is indeed a 101. But Cowley's own reflection of this slight imperfection reminded me of those old myths you'd hear, where Mennonite or Amish woman would intentionally make at least one mistake when making a quilt, since only God was meant to be perfect. I told Callie that, in a way, these variances, even in close to perfect runs, are our little signatures left on our speedruns, making them unique and different. And Callie responded with something very profound. Speedrunning is often about pushing towards limits, not reaching them. I'm more than pleased with this. And who wouldn't be? An all-time great speedrun by an all-time great speedrunner. And that, my friends, is the best way to leave it. The story of Surface One Agent 101. Again, a huge congratulations to Cali W on this speedrun. And if you want to hear about the next insane record in GoldenEye 007, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching, stay true, and I'll see you in the next stream or video.